sometimes taking on something like this just means that somebody's got to be the cheerleader. Mm -hmm. I mean, all I really did was say yes, and I just kept pushing. Yeah. And I just kept saying yes, and people kept saying, you're crazy. And I go, yeah, maybe, but this needs to be done. And what I, what I think I did well, besides just putting together a great team, was I just kept pushing. I, I felt like, and I, I can articulate it now, I couldn't have six years ago. I would have had no clue how to articulate this. Mm -hmm. But what I think I knew instinctively was if you get enough people in Oklahoma City thinking this could happen, they'll literally carry you. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what happened. Once, the, once enough people were like, okay, he's serious. And early on it was like, yeah, he's serious, but he's going to fail. Which was a logical thought. Sure. <laughs> a guy, a friend called me one day and he said, hey, you know everybody in the town's thinking you're going to fail. I go, well, yeah, I would too. <laughs> right. I'm not offended by it at all. Uh, but once people are like, okay, he's serious. And then you get you know, an engine like Charlie Nicholas, who's well known in this region and even around the country. You get him behind it, and all of a sudden people are like, all right. That, that's a serious uh, ownership group that's able to step in with a lot of power and force and, and history. And now all of a sudden they're like, hmm. And then I bring in any construction who, you know, they brought powerhouses in and people kept going, all right, maybe yeah. this, you know, little guy from Oklahoma City is going to actually put together a group that can pull this off. Right. Then 106 lenders turned us down, and COVID hit, and uh, <laughs> there were some challenges. Let's just say it was a challenge. But I, I really think my main job was just to keep telling people, we're going to do this, yeah. no matter what they said. 